Uh, well, since so many of you people ask the question, what do your Nikon uh, and Canon shutters are made out of, you can see how thin it is and how flexible it is. This is an actual shutter from a, uh, what is it, from a Nikon... This is from a dead Nikon uh, D... Yeah, this one's from a dead Nikon D700. I can't believe I remember that. Um, it's made out of Kevlar and carbon fiber composites, so... Yes, this flimsy stuff is the actual shutter in your Nikon. And it is Kevlar slash carbon fiber composite, since many of you asked. And by the way, it makes a lovely flame when you go to ignite it. Mmm. Toxic smoke, too. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. Let's let go of it. And, you know... Let's turn the gas off here. Let's zoom in. Ooh! Mmm! What a lovely toxic smell that leaves. Now, here's, <laughs> here's the most fun part of what happens to a uh, professional uh, shutter after it's been burned. Uh, actually, after it's been ignited, shall I say, rather than burned. turns into uh... well this is the part that was held by the pliers so it didn't actually ignite like the rest of it did but everything else here is very fine dust which I don't want to breathe in <laughs> so uh... now now, <clears throat> now you know what your uh, Nikon shutter is made out of. It is made out of Kevlar and carbon fiber composite. Here you can see the mounting points back here. So, that is the shutter that makes up your professional DSLR. And it makes a lovely flame over the stovetop too. Once you light it, it just goes and goes. It would actually make a decent fuse. You could actually roll it up and almost make a fuse out of it. It it, uh, it ignites so well. Thanks for watching. The more you know, the better. <laughs> oh, now I need to clean the stove.